From there, the president was off to Pleasant View Golf Course in Saginaw to meet with some voters, including a father and son, who say their lives will never be quite the same. And we got a call from the White House and we were like, is this real? Hurley Coleman III and Hurley Coleman IV now can say they know President Joe Biden. At first I was nervous and then we start talking a lot more and I got more comfortable around him. And the president came bearing a few gifts that mean the world to this 13 year old. This is a pin he gave me. Um, it's signed right here, it's signed. And then he gave me a pin to put on a suit or, something or anything. The game of golf also took up part of the conversation. He said he started golfing when he was 36 years old. The rest of the time was spent talking about the things that really matter to the Coleman family right now. This was a conversation about life, um, about, about our kids, about, about, our, about, about our work. Um, what does it mean to raise a family? Uh, what, do, what are your, your morals or your family values? How does faith and work intertwine? Hurley Coleman III makes sure he let the president know what needs attention. We're a working class family. You know, uh, my wife and I, we're, we have three children. Uh, and uh, we, we understand that inflation is, 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 is skyrocketing, but we also have to live. The price of gas, cost of living, and making sure families can maintain a sustainable future also were highlighted as areas of concern. But this family feels like the president heard them loud and clear. It was cool to hear, like, from his point of view, what he's doing and working on. I don't take this lightly. I, I count it as an honor, and I, and I hope that, uh, that we've made uh, our region proud. The Coleman's, who were chosen out of a list of families, say they were contacted this past Sunday to see if they were interested in meeting with the president. They were encouraged that the president seemed genuinely interested in what they had to say.